Highest Good Living Models, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 284. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 284, September 2nd, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability within our lifetime. Today, what I'd like to talk about is highest good living models. And uh, more specifically, what you see happening in the background here are the foundations of those models, the housing aspect of those models. And what we're designing and have developed is seven different sustainable village models, the first of which we'll be building. You can see right now it's the Earthbag Village and, of course, the replicable, duplicable city center are the first aspects of what we're going to be building. And these are the foundations of the highest good living models that we are developing as a pathway to global sustainability. And the reason why we call them highest good living models is because they are designed with the highest good of all life on this planet in mind and incorporating all the foundations of a sustainable civilization as a pathway to global sustainability within our lifetime. And what I mean by that is we take the physical foundations, we've taken the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, housing, and energy, everybody's familiar with those, and we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability, which we've identified as fulfilled living practices, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and true earth stewardship. And we're putting all these things together as an evolution of sustainability to demonstrate a way of living that we think that most people will consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And if we can make this easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate highest good living models as attractive enough, then the idea will spread on its own. And this is the path to global sustainability that we are dedicated to, and we see it as an approach capable of addressing all of the greatest challenges of this generation and generations to come through the highest good living approach. Because it's built on sustainable infrastructure, it lowers the cost of living, it is good for the environment, it incorporates regenerative food practices, waste recycling, as well as recycling practices, and all the different aspects of a sustainable civilization that are necessary to regenerate our planet and to sustain our planet and the growing population for the foreseeable future. And so we think that this idea of highest good living models is pretty important. And that's why our all volunteer, 100% uh, unpaid, 100% volunteer nonprofit organization and team are creating this. We want to live this way and we want to help other people live this way. And so we're creating the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do it yourself uh, instructions for all aspects of the highest good living models so that people can implement them as either the complete teacher demonstration hub or as individual components, taking the components that they like and integrating those into their life or integrating the entire or helping to build the entire teacher demonstration hub model so that they can live this way in its entirety, living the integrity with your environment, with your community, with the larger community of humanity and creating a world that truly works for everybody within our lifetime. We see nothing, nothing more relevant to today's challenges, more uh, noble and desirable and worthwhile than this. We have the ability to create paradise on earth. We have the ability to create a sustainable planet. We have the ability to regenerate this earth and start acting and demonstrating ourselves as conscious and conscientious stewards and integrating this highest good living model idea into the lives of ourselves and anybody else who wants to participate and only into the lives of those who want to participate. It doesn't have to be something that everybody does. It only requires a small percentage of humanity to embrace this idea, to get involved, to start living this way, and helping to contribute to the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and building the global suite of resources so that we can cover living models and village models that will be applicable in any environment built around the world, working in cooperation and collaboration as a global cooperative for the highest good of all life and for humanity 
and we can create a world that works for everybody. It doesn't take everybody. It only takes a small percentage of the population. And so as I've said before, we are making it easy enough, affordable enough, and we're going to demonstrate it's attractive enough so that the idea will spread its own. And this is the path to global sustainability and creating a world that works for everybody within our lifetime so that we can positively and permanently impact every single person on this planet, even if they're not participating in the sustainability models that we're creating. We can address the challenges of lack of energy infrastructure and of social injustice and inequality and war and famine and starvation and all of these things. We can promote regenerative agriculture in such a way that it spreads on its own. We can promote and demonstrate sustainable living models that don't destroy our planet, that use materials that are healthy for the people that are living within these environments. We can make sustainable food and food that is not sprayed with poison the new norm. We can improve our air quality. We can improve our water quality. We can address climate change. All of these things can be done. And so one community is creating the open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions necessary to do exactly that. And this is our Highest Good Living Models plan and how we're doing it. So with all that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal and creating all of this. Take a look. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team working with Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, finished the final round of edits and corrections for the second printed copies of the Seven Villages book we've been developing. This completes almost two years of work on this book, and we now move on to full integration into the website. This week, the core team also continued testing the open source Murphy Bed Furniture assembly instructions for the back clothing and storage area. We do this by building it in SketchUp 3D and noting mistakes as we go. You can see some of this work in progress here. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 19th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week, he added details to the clothing and storage introduction graphic and created the first detailed drawings of the new bed, couch, and fold-out table designs. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his 18th week helping update our renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike created the five additional Earthbag Village renders you see here. Next steps for these will be Photoshop edits and then adding them to the appropriate pages of the site. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 128 from Dean. His focus this week was finishing the AutoCAD elevation seen here for the alternate floor plans for the homes we'll be building as part of this village. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team working with Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 92nd week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was final lighting selection, placement, and testing for the mezzanine level to produce and add to the website the graphics shown here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 20th week helping with the duplicate city center materials and costs. This week's focus was restroom accessories, floor construction, and miscellaneous items like bicycle stands, and final corrections and additions needed to produce the second generation summary for the total construction cost, some of which you can see here. Doa Feng, civil engineer, also completed his 18th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Open Source Hub. This week he added piping elevation changes to the master AutoCAD file, updated the spreadsheet and tutorial to include related details, and color coordinated the spreadsheet colors to match the AutoCAD piping colors. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. 
This week, the core team continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development with a focus on worms and soil, clarifying specific research on carbon to nitrogen ratios, batch compost piles, and as-you-go piles. We learned we'll save a lot of manpower by switching over to worm composting and trench composting during the milder months of the year rather than using traditional composting piles. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team finished all work except for adding images to the information maintenance and sharing, taking your learning with you page. We finished the formatting, adding content and resources, and we'd say this brings the page to 90% complete. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team working with Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, continued collaboration on our new online marketing strategy. This week's focus was initial keyword organization and ad writing for the Conscious Music Project, open source free education database, and the SketchUp Plant database. The core team also reviewed and updated the Highest Good Network software design details and next steps action item lists in preparation for continuing with the development team. Well, there you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of highest good living models, self-replicating, open source, do-it-yourself, highest good living models that can be built anywhere around the world and hopefully working in cooperation and collaboration with us to provide even more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating everything it is that we're creating and everything that we will create. With that said, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on social media and manage your updates that way. And for that purpose and for the purpose of helping to get the word out and share everything that we're creating, we are on all of the different social media platforms. I mean, all the major ones and about 15 of the minor ones. Of course, we're on LinkedIn, Tumblr, uh, Reddit, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and about 15 other social media networks. So wherever it is that you like to hang out, we are there. And if you'd like to help out, the easiest way to help out is just to share information on your favorite social media platform or go to any of our social media platforms and just like our posts uh, or like this video, help us make comments, those things. All those things really help to promote the work. And so if you want to help out in the easiest way possible, that's the way to do it. If you'd like other ways to help out, well, visit our helping page. We've got a whole bunch of different ways that you can participate. And uh, if your favorite way to participate is just in watching these updates, uh, we appreciate that. It makes a difference. And we're grateful if you're just somebody that's sending us love and thinking about us, that makes a big difference too. So with all that said, thank you. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. And uh, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.